TikTok of a woman reading out her brother's proposal plan that he wrote when, get this, when he was just nine years old at his own wedding. Here's a snippet. Listen to this. It is midnight, and I sneak you onto our private jet. You wake up while we are in the air, and I don't tell you where we are, but I kiss you, and I tell you I have everything taken care of. That's beautiful. All right, so did... It's cute, yeah. right? Okay, so did your romantic reality match your childhood fantasy? Ooh, okay. I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. I need to go back one step, because I have a 10-year-old daughter, and I think she's quite smart. And even at 10 years old, this kid at nine, I don't think he wrote that. Why? <laughs> I'm gonna be this conspiracy theorist. It is really fancy writing for, mm. I used to be a teacher. This is very, and I'm not saying it's not possible, this is rare mm. that a nine-year-old boy is writing this. It was perfect sentence structure. He's, what nine-year-old boy knows know, about French Polynesia? Like, right? If you know. listen to so I don't like class yeah, at school, Melissa. I don't buy it. Now, something smells you off to me. You creative writing class. No. That's right. Melissa. I've That's been right. with these kids. Trust me, he's not writing like this. However, <laughs> if I, if, to answer your question, Andrea, yeah. I was never the girl who had dreams of getting married and had these uh, visions of this, like, white wedding. Mm -hmm. I literally was like, with boys, and not I never me, thought me until either. I met my husband, you and I never me, thought about it. Once. I was dreaming, dreaming. Okay, who did you dream about? Dreaming. Who was your Who was your fantasy person? No, see, I didn't. Well, I didn't have like a fantasy person. Okay. Actually, I mean, actually, I did have a little fantasy person. It was really ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It was like a homeboy from like Three's Company. It was stupid. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I will say, yeah, crazy. I get but it. But I dreamt of getting married. Mm -hmm. I knew the year. I mean, we're way late now. But I knew how old I was going to be. Really? Did, I did, knew... did wow. any of the elements kind of come up? In I knew your... I was going to marry an American. No oh, way. Not sorry, Canadians. I'm marrying an American. Yeah. Yes. So you were very yes. clairvoyant about who you were going to be with, even when you were really, really young. Yeah, protector, provider. I just knew. Did but you... I was with the breadcrumbs. <laughs> Single men breadcrumbs? Yes! <laughs> I all type of breadcrumbs, but I should have just waited for the whole loaf that I got. Ah. Love it. All right, so I actually, I, I was always indifferent about marriage, but I did have a fantasy man who I thought for sure I was going to marry. Mm. This man was everything. He was a triple threat. He was also Trinidadian, and I oh. was like, oh, I'm sold. Every time I saw him, my heart melted. Uh, you guys might know him. If you could put up his picture right now, so you guys can see the man. <laughs> Stop it right now. Oh. Yes. Yes. Alfonso Rivera, most yeah. of you know him from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. But before he was on that show, he was a star of a show called Silver Spoons. Oh, y'all are too young to know that he was. It was a show that Jason Bateman and Ricky Schroeder were on, and I would watch that show and just be like, just if, he, if we met, I knew we would fall in love. But now, uh, the well, reality maybe. is like, yes. maybe, maybe it's you still your mom. He's happily married okay. with children, so that's not right. going to happen. There you go. Hey, you, come a bit closer. We've got so many more must-see interviews, spicy debates, lifestyle tips, and pop culture moments. So subscribe to our channel by tapping the logo below and don't miss out.